Libra. This is going to be your monthly love reading for December. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If this reading doesn't resonate for you guys, I would say to you to go and check your Moon and Rising signs as well. <clears throat> as well as your Venus and your Jupiter, okay? Because those readings may resonate a little more for you. If it still doesn't resonate then, then the reading probably is not for you. Um, sometimes people need to hear messages, you know, a little more than others at times, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on for Libra? What's going on for Libra? Libra. All right, so in the past, um, you're coming from a place where you had a lot of communication um, with someone and And I, and I just feel like, you know, the whole situation surrounding this individual or the people that you were communicating with, um, that situation made you feel like, you know, you just really had to cut to the point and, you know, just cut out all the bull crap because, um, I think things were really kind of confusing to you at one point, okay? Um, we have Sagittarius energy there, and um, of course you're here as a queen of swords, and you're, really, you're a really good communicator, um, but I feel like communication with um, someone or some people was was very confusing to you here with the nine of swords being present um like the communication wasn't clear you didn't get what you felt you needed out of it okay and so that's where you were here in the past um you know initially with this communication it was as though you you know, you really had to take a time out from the situation that was bringing you a lot of of stress and strife and, you know, keeping you in like this, this state of mind that you are not comfortable being in. And, um, and I feel like you, you voiced your opinions and you, you said what made you feel, um, confused or what made you feel like, you know, communication with this this person or people was off um and i think somebody behaved very sneakily very deceitfully in this situation and they knew what they were doing like however they were communicating with you even through your state of confusion you know they probably acted like they didn't get it but they got it and because with the seven of swords here sitting on top of the eight of wands it's somebody doing something that they know is not right, but they do it anyway. Not that they, you know, do something that they know is right or they feel is right, because, you know, that's just like a stubborn person, but this is almost like, you know, manipulation um, here. And so there was a need for you to really just kind of stand in your power and, you know, cut out that confusion here. Now, on top of the Queen of Swords, we have the Two of Cups with the King of Wands. Now, 
this was somebody that obviously, okay, <clears throat> this person, even though they behaved, you know, very cocky or very, you know, elusive and deceitful, I feel like there was really love between the two of you. And I, the two of you felt that for each other, okay? We have the King of Wands here with the Two of Cups. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your energy. Um, there, was, there was love between the two of you. You guys shared something. I think you both felt it. Uh, but a lot of times people, you know, they get a little too comfortable with how the other person feels about them and they start behaving in a way that's not, um, that's not good. You know, when somebody shows so much, you know, emotion and love towards somebody for that other person that's receiving that to feel like they can take advantage or be manipulative. Um, I feel like that is that that's kind of what happened here in the past. And then with the nine of swords on with the moon and the three of cups, you know, you just got to got to a point where, you know, things were revealed to you. Things were revealed to you um, in a way that you no longer needed someone to try to justify their behavior or give you excuses for, you know, whatever slight that they, you know, did towards you. Um, your, your main focus was to go ahead and just let that go, stand in your own truth, speak, you know, say what it is that you needed to say and, you know, just stand your ground. And you did that. Um, without somebody coaxing you along. It was like you just decided that that's not for me and just like let it go, okay? So now you're just kind of focusing on being happy within you, being happy, you know, with other people that you come in contact, like your family and your friends and stuff. Um, we also have uh, Scorpio energy here. Not Scorpio, but Cancer, I'm sorry. Cancer energy. So, so far we have um, either an air sign like yourself, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, and then we have Aries, Leo, Sag, and then we have Cancer, um, Pisces energy here, okay? So, in the past, you were just like, you were dealing with somebody that a lot of the, a lot of the things they did was like for gameplay to see what they could get away with. And at some point you realize that even though you felt a certain way about this person and you felt that they felt the same for you, they didn't exhibit it the way that you felt like they should. And you just decided to cut it out and, you know, be done with it and just, you know, kind of go on with your life and try to be happy. And then, you know, so now it's like you're just wanting to start over. But the other person can be at a point where, where they really want to start over with you and offer, you know, something tangible, something solid here with the Ace of Coins. Now we have Earth energy here, Taurus, uh, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Um, but I feel like, you know, you are at a point where you're not wanting to argue. You don't want any conflict. You know, it's settled for you is the way I feel, okay? I think you're also presenting here as the queen of coins. And that's somebody that's just very, it's like fiery earth. Um, just very elegant, um, very very much somebody that is stable, grounded, in charge of their own emotions, not letting anyone else, um, you know, take advantage of their compassion and, you know, their, their energy, basically. The Queen of Coins is, is 
somebody that is like they take care of the people that they love but they also know when somebody is not reciprocating that to you know not give as much you know kind of pull back a little bit and so I feel like this is you at this point even though this person is wanting to come in and offer something tangible because they're realizing what they did here with the seven of coins and so now they're really kind of reflecting in the four swords here like and you as well um they're thinking about what they have done like to get you to a point where you don't even want to converse with them and you have your back turned because it's like you're not trying to even revisit that situation that you know that you detached yourself from you're not you're not looking at you know trying to have arguments with people about how they should treat you and you know what they should and what they shouldn't say to you so now you know it's like you're not even looking at you're not even looking at this person anymore it's like you know you know there's better out there for you somebody that's willing to you know give you what you give them because we have the four cups on with the six of coins here you know you're looking you're looking for something else you're looking for something that's solid where you don't have to kind of like hold somebody's hand to get them to do what it is that they need to do it's funny because I feel like this person is also changing. Like they were very, they were very fiery and very, um, I'm gonna say lit. And what I mean by lit is um, they were they were very easy to react and do things without really thinking about things. You know, trying to be in control over the situation by controlling you and your feelings and the way they were behaving towards you. But now I feel like, you know, they're more in a stage where they want to talk. They want to talk things out because they're possessing more air energy now. Thinking, you know, planning, getting control of your emotions, you know, being more logical about things and less reactive, you know. We have the two of wands in between the two of you and i'm just looking at it because you know you you're thinking about the stuff that happened in the past and this person is looking forward and the two of wands is between you because that there there's a path to be chosen and i don't feel like the situation between the two of you is is you know irreparable I really don't but there's a path to be chosen because you know in order to move forward if that's something that you're interested in that um, you know you kind of have to turn and face a situation and if this person is engaging is willing to engage and talk with you you know on the level that you need for them to then you know things can definitely move forward okay because they're I see them wanting to but I see you you know you're kind of stuck in the past right now and um, and I think you know this person will will come and they probably already have because we have this in the present in the future I see lots of thinking going on um, like weighing options and that's why i really feel like this person either has come back or is coming back because it's going to give you a lot to think about lots to think about here scorpio's here but um it, this situation is calling for you for you guys period to be 
patient with each other if this thing is going to work. But it is going to be up to you whether or not you choose to take this person back. And then, you know, that calls for you being able to discern if this person is truly legit in what they say. We have the tower here. And so this is also in your future position. So there's going to be some, some, something really, really shocking um, to your system um, that comes up. And I just, I feel like this is something, and I'm just going to put it out there. It is something so extreme as um, a possible proposal out of nowhere. Um, and that I get that strongly here because the tower comes out of nowhere, but it's being clarified by the six of swords, which is, you know, you've gone through something here and you're moving towards calmer waters. You're coming out of the battle, moving towards calmer waters, and then you're waiting for your ships to come in here. This is this is primarily like um, Aries type energy here with these three cards just together with the Tower. Um, that's Mars energy, and Aries is ruled by Mars. Um, But it's like this person proposes to you after, you know, you didn't even think they were serious about you like that because of how they treated you before. You know, they probably disregarded you a lot and you just felt kind of disposable. But when this person comes back and say, hey, you know, I really did feel like we were going to stand a test of time, it's going to be shocking to you. And it's going to be confusing to you because you have already said in your mind here with the Queen of Swords that that's, that's over with for you. That's done. You know? But I feel like you guys, if you decide to, um, you know, take this person, take this person at their word and just kind of go with the flow and see how they really... Um, what their interest really is with you, I think that you would be pleased. And this this is not for everybody, but this person is now showing up in the future as a king of coins. This is a family man or family woman. The genders can go vice versa. But this is somebody that has realized, um, you know, how very important your emotions being in check are. This is this is a page, but it's like, you know, you're, you're figuring things out. And that's what this person is with the King of Coins, the Page of Cups, the Ten of Coins, is being humble. Being humble and realizing what you have and it's everything to you. This is legacy, this is family, this is true commitment, this is something tangible, okay? Now keep in mind that, you know, when I'm speaking throughout this reading, the energies can go vice versa, they can be flip-flop. So you guys take it as it resonates with you. And um, Libra, that is what I have for you for the month of December. Again, we have all the signs here. Um, there is nothing specific, actually. There really isn't. I see strong Virgo. I see Taurus here. Um, I see Aries here. Like strongly. Sagittarius energy. Okay. So I will be speaking with you guys soon. If you guys um, need a personal reading, go ahead and um, check the website out at www.pinkarianjim.com, guys. And I will be speaking with you soon.